Hello. Oh, did I not add the link today? Okay. I think there. I know I'm running late, but I feel like the link should be up there. Okay. I got to put the link out there because clearly y'all don't have the link um, for the show. Let me see. Oh, it's not. I didn't add the link. I apologize. Let me do that right now, y'all. I got to add the link to for you guys to be here. So let me go and do that real quick. Hopefully I can. I got to add it to Facebook. I don't know how to do that. Oh, you know what? I could just do it. All right. Give me a moment. Y'all need the link to learn to, to join the show. And I forgot to add the link for y'all to already have it. So I'm about to up, uh, upload it right now on um, Facebook so y'all can have the link. I guess I was doing all the wrong links all day because I'm like, why is there nobody in queue? All right, so the link's just been added to Facebook. My apologies. Now let me add the link to the YouTube channel. <laughs> hey, everyone. Ciao. I was running a little late because the show was running longer on um on instagram tonight and then i had to eat something child you know i'm a human being over here all right so i just added the link on youtube the link is now also on facebook so okay people are coming through now let me add it to the other link i don't know why child i forgot to do this link oh let me just add it here let me just put it the link to join let me see if I can edit this. Child, I had no idea I was putting the wrong link out all this time, all day. So yeah, I'm putting the link. So the link now is on Facebook and the link is also on YouTube. I apologize for y'all not having this damn link, child. That is my fault. Okay, let's see. You know, Wi-Fi is the biggest thing over here, child. So let's just pray for good Wi-Fi. That's the only prayer I really care about, okay? The only prayer I care about is good Wi-Fi. So if for some reason your Wi-Fi might be freezing up, I may just have to end it because, you know, we both can't be struggling in the Wi-Fi world. Um, all right. So with that being said, Jesus, take the word. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. It's me? It's you. Hey. What's up? You ready, boo? Yeah. I'm on this work Wi-Fi. Let's hurry up. Okay. Let, let's get to it. Man, you my kind of guy. Let's get to it. Where you calling me from? I'm Orlando, Florida. Orlando, how old are you? I'm 30, I'm 30, 32. 32, Almost what you do for a living? Um, I work at a Hilton. You work where, honey? Uh, Hilton. At the Hilton, okay, you have any kids? Nope. No kids, when's your birthday or zodiac sign? Um, July the 8th, I'm a cancer. A cancer, this is Matt Orlando, Florida, 32, works at the Hilton, a cancer, no kids. What kind of woman are you looking for? Oh, I'm gay. <laughs> oh, I mean, there we have it. No, no, no. Hold on. Let me stop. I'm bisexual, but I prefer men. Okay. So what kind of Why men? You your eyes? No, I'm just trying to. It's, I wasn't rolling my eyes. I'm just trying to. Oh. Um, that's me, my brain, trying to work and understand what we about to get into. All right. What kind of man are you All looking right. for? Okay. What do you say? What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Um, I'm, I'm fit. Um, I prefer dark skin, tall man, but yeah, um, I yeah, pers it's not recommended, but it's personality too. So yeah, because I had my type before and they treated me like dog shit, but okay. Okay, so let's see, what's some deal breakers for you? Um, not consistent. Um, liars, um, narcissists. That's the regular shit. Like, <laughs> nar um. Too many baby mama, too many <laughs> messy. So he could be bi so he 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 could be bisexual too and already have kids. Yeah, he can be bisexual too. I mean okay. I'd be a hypocrite if I wouldn't say no. What's the age range you would do, Boo? 45 to 25. So you want to go older? Oh, 25 to 45. Yeah. Okay. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? No. Okay. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam. Let's see your full body, Matt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to my... Oh, oh you, you don't got to pull your shirt up, honey. Oh. 
Child, y'all be trying to get bucket naked for the kids. No, 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 I'm just like, move back so you can see your full body. People okay. don't see my body underneath all these clothes. I got work clothes. I'm in the uniform. Okay, well, you want to make sure you show your assets, honey. Amen. I, amen. All right, Matt, when was your last relationship? Um, last relationship was um, four months ago. Four months ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. Uh, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, a month. Like, Close to a month, not totally a month, but a month. A month ago. Okay. Is that person an option? No, they decided they don't want to continue. Oh, it was their choice. Did they give you a yeah. reason why? Um, it's it, he gave me the it's me, not you. So it's me, not you. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Well, Matt, um, okay, why do you think you're single? Um I keep picking the wrong man, but these last three relationships, they pick me. But I think I just keep picking the wrong guy. And it's like, you no, know, I don't know. It's like I do everything and put every, like, I put 100% in relationships, and especially when I'm interested in someone. Like, when you say you like or love someone, you show it, show it. And I believe that wholeheartedly. Like, you can't say I miss you and don't miss them. Like, you have, it's, a, it's an action. It's an action. Okay. Yeah. All right. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, because I'm loyal. I'm down. I'm a cancer. Lord, we might be, we might be petty, baby, but we're down. We're yeah. down. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's do it. Matt Orlando, Florida. Does a guy gotta be in Orlando? Uh, no, he don't have to be. Okay. I Orlando? mean, like right my situation I'm now, I can't travel like that, but yeah. Okay. Um, he works for the Hilton, a cancer, no kids. Give them your, how you want them to reach out to you? Um, you can be Instagram or um, Instagram and Twitter is my, like, um, my, the same name. But you can hit me up on Instagram. I'll always be on there. But yeah, my is, Instagram is fun underscore size underscore gamer. So fun underscore size underscore gamer? Yes. And that's spelled F-U-N underscore S-I-Z-E underscore G-A-M-E-R? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Okay. Wait, what do you say? Gamer. G-A-M-E-R. Yes. Okay. All right. Men only women. Sorry. No. Jose 25 <laughs> to 45. But you said you're bisexual, so no women at all? I, I wouldn't say that. My heart is still open. But like, yeah. I mean, if you want to give us like the type of women I like, I like um I, I like tall women. I ain't gonna lie. I'm short. So but I like How tall are you, Matt? I'm five four. Five, four. So you like women typically taller than you? Yes. Okay. All right, ladies. So if you want your option, be taller than Matt. And what else? Any other attributes you want to tell the ladies? Mm, not really. Like, I like a lady who's open-minded. Open-minded. Okay. Would you date a trans woman? No. No. Okay. All right. Let's do it, Matt. Keep me posted how it goes, honey. Uh, uh, what happened? Keep me posted how it goes. All right, bet. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. <laughs> All right, we are on YouTube tonight, okay? Um, again, 21 and older, no videos come down. Hello, who's Hello, this? Hi, Kim. We are, we are Echo, echo Boy. I might have to disconnect with you. Oh, is there an echo? Yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Hello? 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 Tierra? Can you hear me, Tierra? All right, Tierra, you got to figure it out, boo. You know, I can't be, you know, you two be a little janky. We got to be on it. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name, baby? Sharice. Sharice, where are you calling me from? Baltimore. Baltimore is in the building. How old are you? I'm 42. 42? What you do for a living? I work in healthcare. Work in healthcare. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? July 11th. I'm a cancer. A cancer. Do you have any kids? No. No kids. Um, this is Sharice, Baltimore, 42, works in healthcare, cancer, no kids. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? A uh, communicator, um, someone that has goals, someone that is ready to date, um, someone that is not playing any games, um, someone that likes to have fun, that can travel. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. What's some deal breakers for you? Uh, smokers, liars. Um, no goals or aspirations, like they don't have no drive. Um, yeah. Okay. 
This is Sharice, 42. What's the age range you want to date? Uh, I'll say 38 to 48. 38 to 48. Does he have to look a certain way? No. No. Does he got to make a certain amount of money? Not really, no. <laughs> Not really? No. Okay. Um, just have a job, you know, have a career and make money, you know, support yourself pretty much. Yeah. Can you have kids? Sure. Did you never want kids? Did you never want kids? Oh, I'm, unfortunately, I can't have any kids. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. That's well, okay. Gonna, are you fine? You're fine with it? Yeah. I'm, I, I'm thinking about adopting maybe one day, but um, I don't know. You just have to meet the right person and we'll decide on what okay. we can do. Sharice, now, you know, I'm always in a difficult position, but I do have to ask because there's a lot of people in the con um, comments just wondering. On your upper lip, is that a mole? Yeah, it's a mole. Yeah. Oh, it's a mole. Okay. Yeah. So we got that clear. All right. Yeah. Okay, so Sharice, you ready for the Kendra cam? Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, are you a little bitty thing? Yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm five foot. Oh, you're five foot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Sharice, um, when was your last relationship? Uh, Three years ago. Three years ago. You yeah. didn't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, a couple months ago. Couple months ago. So, Sharice, why do you think you're single? Um, I'm single. Um, one thing I don't really get out there. Like, I don't really do the club scene, or you know, I work a lot, so it's like I work twelve hours, and it's like I don't really get out much. Um, uh, what else? Um, I don't take a lot of bull crap. Like, if I can smell you from a mile away, like if you don't got time for me, I don't have time for you. It's like, okay, you know. Yeah. You don't have time for me. You don't have time for you. I know that's right. Sharice, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, Because I'm fun. Um, I like to spend time with my the person I'm with. Um, enjoy like traveling. Um, I'm a good, I um, like to cater kind of like I cook. I, um, I keep the house clean, stuff like that. Okay, you keep the house clean. Um, And he said he can have kids. So let's do it. This is Sharice, Baltimore. Does he have to be in Baltimore? Um, no, not really. And what's you do the age range, 38 to 48. Works in healthcare as a cancer, no kids. How you want them to reach out to you, honey? They can reach me on Facebook. My name's Sharice Collins or Instagram, M S S C O L L I N S O seven. Okay. And then Instagram is this, excuse me. Facebook is it spelled just the way it's spelled right there? Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can find it while I'm on with you. Sometimes when I go back, child, I'm be trying to find people on Facebook. Cause it be, I think your name is not as common, but sometimes the names are so common. That it is sometimes. Than. It's a, it's a couple people that it's spell like that. Them. So how's your profile picture look? Oh, it I think should. I found it right away. This you? Yep. All right, there you have it. Okay. Yeah. All right, but well, listen. Keep me posted how it goes, honey. Got you. All right, bye, sweetheart. <laughs> bye, baby girl. Um, let's see. Who? Who are you talking to? My sister. <laughs> What's I knew. Oh my god! I told her. I told her all day. I was like, she's gonna accept me today. So I'm gonna need you to get your son. Make sure he's not crying in the back. But wait, how old are you? I'm 23. Okay, yeah, because 21. But so you look really young. But you meet the I age know, requirement. Tell me, I look like 16. Older. What's your name, baby? Uh, Nia. You guys can call me Nia. It's Tonia though. Tonia. Yes. Oh Tonya. my god. You're 23. I love you, I love you back, Tonia. <laughs> you want me to call you Nia? Um, I'm I just moved to Arizona. Um oh my god, Tiffany gave me the chargers. My phone's about to die. Um, I just moved to Arizona. So I live in Arizona. I was raised mainly in Arizona, but um I spent like the la I was born in Cleveland, Ohio, so I spent like the last like four years in Cleveland, but I just moved here. So Okay, you move so you moved back home basically. Yes, I'm shaking a little. I'm sorry. Do you want me to call you Tonia or Nia? Nia. Nia, okay. You can so, call me Tonia. Everybody in the comments call me Nia. I'm just gonna call you Nia too. Nia, okay. um, what do you do for a living, baby? Um, I'm an aircraft cleaner. I clean airplanes. You clear these airplanes. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have two kids. Two kids. How old are your kids? I have a 10 month old and a three year old. Are they by the same man? No. So why are you not with the man you had a baby with 10 months ago? Toxic. Very toxic. Um, 
abusive mentally, physically, oh, just abuse, just not a toxic, just toxic. Toxic. Why yeah. you not with the three year old dad? Toxic. Both of them. Both of them are toxic. Yes. Um, so just because um, I think because we're young, so I think that's what it is. Um, I don't think guys my age are what I'm looking for. So, so uh, okay, they're toxic. Would there be drama for a new guy that potentially dates you with your baby daddies? Well, they are both in Ohio, so they won't have to deal with them. They're really good dads. They're just not good partners. Okay, so you co-parent well. Yes. Okay. So this is Nia, 23, Arizona, cleans airplanes, two kids. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? Um, August 29th. I'm a Virgo. August 29th. Virgo. All right, boo, let's do it. What kind of man are you looking for? Okay, so I think I'm looking for someone older now because I think people my age are... Nia, you got to look at us and, and stop moving, okay, honey? What'd you say? I said, look at us and stop moving. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm sorry. Can you get the phone steady? You want me to set it down? Yes, that probably oh. would be best. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm so sorry. I knew you were going to pick me today. I knew it, though. Mm -hmm. I'm like, today's the day. Okay, Um. yeah, I'm looking for someone older, I think. So, like, 27, 33. Um, someone who's not insecure and won't, like, project. Did you put the phone down? You're still holding the phone, right? I'm still holding. I'm sorry, because. Okay. Is that better? Okay, this is yeah. I just want the phone to be steady. So you're okay. So you want somebody older? Yeah. Um, so Oops, child, um, Nia. Now I'm sorry. Get I'm it. trying to get that good life for you that you be talking about. All right, we got to get it together. All right. So okay, 27 to 33. Yeah. Um, not insecure. Um, just very self-aware about himself and what he wants. So don't project your, any of your past traumas or anything onto me. Um. And then respectful. Would never call someone out their name. Um, you have to drink water. <laughs> um, can, he yeah, drink, can, can he drink other things outside of water? Yeah, I, I meet a lot of boys my age who say they don't like water, and that just throws me off. So, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you got to like water. Um, good hygiene. And, yeah, respectful. And be respectful. Yes. All right. Um, what's some deal breakers besides not drinking water? Um, liars, toxic. liars, toxic. Um, if you don't want to deal with my kids, then you don't have to be a father figure. They have dads, but um, if you don't like kids, um, you probably won't meet them anytime soon. But uh, if you don't like kids, then we're wasting time. I have two kids, so okay. <laughs> eventually you don't have to be okay with that. Okay, could could the guy have kids himself? Yes. Um, another deal breaker: if you don't take care of your kids. You wearing all this designer and your kids look all messed up. <laughs> you gotta take care of your kids. Um, I don't care about kids. Take care of your kids. <laughs> and hopefully I don't have to play mother to them. <laughs> hopefully they have an active good mother in their life. Do you want more kids? Yeah, when I get married. Okay, so what would you so say probably to the not for, like what would you say to the, What would you say to the guy that would say, why don't you think about marriage before you had your children? Because I was young. I was um I had my first kid when I was um eighteen. The second kid, um, I really did think that was gonna work out, but um that person was manipulative. So um we were talking about marriage. I should have did it before, but uh yeah. Okay. Um does the guy have to be in Arizona? No, I like to travel. I like to travel. And I don't like Arizona men. I would prefer you not live out here at all. No Arizona minutes. Okay. I like Midwest uh, people. I click more with them. Okay. Midwest people are, is our preference. Does he yes. have to look a certain way? Yes. Um, you don't have to because I've dated outside of my preference, but my preference would be you'd be dark, like the dark and very sweet. Just um, I'm tall. I'm five eight, so like six two, six five would be nice. I've never <laughs> dated anyone like that towers over me were always like the same height or he's shorter than me so okay yeah um, does nice smile but say it again honey nice smile and then that's it <laughs> a nice smile does he have to make a certain amount of money no but um just be able to take care of yourself um i my love language is like traveling gifting so i like buying 
gifts for my significant other. I would appreciate gifts. I don't like expensive gifts. I don't, I'm into like little things, flowers here and there, stuff like that. But yeah, just be able to be a gentleman. All right, let's do the Kendra cam. That's when we see your full body. You definitely look good, especially for a girl that had a baby 10 months ago. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of small. I was bigger, but I lost a lot of weight. All right. So, um, Nia, why do you think you're, well, when was your last relationship? Two months ago with um, my 10-month-old's father. Okay, that's when you guys ended. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Two months ago with my child's father. Okay. Uh, why do you think you're single, Nia? I think I'm single because um, I'm, I have attachment issues. Like, I jump onto someone. Like, if I find something I like, I don't get to know them. I just be like, we're boyfriend and girlfriend now. We go together <laughs> real bad. And then I don't I don't know nothing too much about them. And then that's when I learned that they got daddy. Please don't come with me with daddy issues, please. I, that is a whole nother thing for men and females when they have daddy issues. I don't want that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I'm single because I jump into relationships too quick without knowing what I should know first. And I okay. like to see the good in people and I also like to fix people. I like projects. Like I want someone that I can mold into who I want them to be, but that's not always a good thing. Right, this is Nia, Arizona, 23. She cleans planes, two kids, 10 month old, three year old. She's a Virgo, she'll date 27 to 33. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? To be lucky to be with me because I am very kind. I'm loving. I will cook for you, clean for you. I am a um, caterer. Let me cater you. I will cook, clean, buy you little things that I know you like. It's not about, like, the money I'm telling y'all. It's just about the thought. So, yeah, I'm thoughtful, and I like to make someone feel appreciated. Um, I like to let my man know, like, you're appreciated. So, yeah. Okay. All right, Nia, how you want the guy to reach out to you? Instagram. What's My Instagram? Instagram is underscore N-I-A-A-P-I-A. -A -A. I think that's it. You think that's it? Let me yeah. check. Underscore N-I-A-A-P-I-A. -A -A. All right, I'm about to check right now. So underscore first. Mm-hmm. N-I-A. A. Two A. Yes. I -A. Yes. Long live Sally. Yes. I was trying to get you on Instagram today. Okay. <laughs> okay well, you made it on YouTube. All right. Let's yeah. do it. This is Nia. Um, underscore N-I-A-A-P-I-A -A -A on Instagram if you are interested. Um, well, you're definitely a beautiful girl. So you keep me posted. Thank how it goes, honey. Thank you. I'm continuing to watch you. So. All right. Thank you, baby. Bye, boo. Okay. okay. Listen, make sure you guys are liking this page, subscribing to the page if you're not already a subscriber um, to it. I'm not sure how Facebook, I mean, excuse me, YouTube works when it comes to um, sharing, but I would say like, like, like this post. Um, that's really important. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see if I got any men in queue. I really need to get a guy. Um, let's see if we have any men on board at the moment. Uh, hello? Oh my God. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your name? Uh, my name is Latoya, but it has the ball head truth, the cancer coach, because that's what I coach people through their cancer. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Um, hey, Latoya, where are you calling us from? I am from, calling from Dallas, Dallas, Texas. Dallas. Dallas, Texas. How old are you? I am 46. 46. What do you do for a living? I am a truck driver, owner operator, truck driver. And like I said, I coach people through their cancer because I'm a breast cancer survivor. Happy Aww. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. <laughs> I'm very aware. I lost my mom to breast cancer. So I love meeting survivors. That's what's up. All right, Latoya, Dallas, Texas, 46, truck driver, also does um, shells people through their cancer. Do you have any kids? No. No kids. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? Um, July 22nd, the last day of cancer. A cancer. All right, so Latoya, Dallas, Texas, 46, is a Zodiac sign cancer, owns her own trucking company, um, no kids. What kind no of man kid. are you looking for? Um, I am looking for a man that is, uh, is family-oriented, that is uh, into the community, helping the community, knows something about politics, um, somebody that is just has a sense of humor, 
that is loving, affectionate, and um, mature. Okay. What's some deal breakers? Um, doesn't know anything about politics or what's going on in her community. <laughs> um, somebody that um, drinks excessively. I heard somebody else say that earlier on your one of your other shows. Um, and uh, I'm just looking for a person that doesn't mind giving me the attention that I need. Okay. Does mm -hmm. he have to be in Dallas, Texas? Um, at this point in my life, I would prefer they be in because I would like to be dated. I would like to be courted. I want to be old school and be courted. Um, but it's not a, it's, that wouldn't be a deal breaker, but not too far away. Not too far away. What's the age range you would say? You're 46. Um, so I'm going to say 44 to 50. 44 to 50. Yes. Um, I'm assuming you don't mind if he has children. No, I would prefer they have children because I don't. Okay. Does he have to look a certain way? Um, actually, well, they don't have to look a certain way. I'm past that, that stage because I'm not having children. But um, I just would, I like big guys. I like um, guys that I got, like what they call it with the baller, the baller belly. I like those guys. Um, I love beards. Um, and, but I really, that's one, that's the thing that I like. But like I said, I'm not about to have kids, so I'm not really tripping. Okay. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, I would prefer somewhere in the 80 to 130. 80 to 130. Okay. Yeah, yearly. And you typically date men that make that much, right? Uh, yeah, I try. <laughs> Have you ever? Oh yes, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm past the age where I have to look at potential. You have to either be where you supposed to be, and or you know, that's you got to be there. So I'm looking for. So I can't. I'm not asking for more than I can give. Okay. Um. So would you date a man that made less than eighty or no? Um, yeah, but not like, I'm not looking for like a 30 and 50 if that, I don't want to sound, uh, vain or whatever the word is, but I'm not looking for a 30 or $50,000 God, I'm sorry. Okay. Even if he treated you great. Well, now see you adding different things into it. I mean, well, cause I'm just trying to figure out that's, I always, whenever women throw out their salary, I always go back to, have you dated it? And then when you tell me that you dated it, my next question would be, well, why didn't, why didn't you why do you think that relationship didn't work? Um, well, I, if, if a person, I, I don't think that I would eliminate a person because they made substantially less than myself. Um, if they're nice and they have ambition, if they are weak in some areas that I am strong, like with me being in a male dominated field with being a, a owner operator, I'm really looking for someone that can, uh, that is the the man. I, I'm really I, I'm. It's a male dominated field, so I need a man of the house, and I don't feel like income dictates dictates that. So if they are willing to be a leader, and they're willing to you know take the lead in the household or whatever, then yeah, he doesn't have to make more than me. I don't I don't judge your masculinity by your income. Okay. Um, and I wasn't saying that to make you lower because people be like, Kendra always making black women. That is never the case. That is never the case. I just really, I will like, I do share the statistics of just, you know, what's out there and how every single woman pretty much wants the same man. And there might be one to 2000, but I wasn't trying to get you to lower your um, standard and your price of, of what you wanted to make. I guess I wanted you to realize what was most important to you. Because yeah, I just I I just don't want struggle love. I don't really I really don't want struggle love. Like the last guy I was talking to, he asked me to pay his light bill after like a couple days. And I just don't want that. I don't want right. <laughs> and, 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 and and let me just jump in and I and I you might not even know who this is. You know who Young Miami is? Yes. Okay, so Young Miami City Girls. I remember I interviewed them. 2020 like i've interviewed them a couple of times my first time interviewing them was during the pandemic and in young miami in particular is very much about you have to make a certain amount of money to date her point blank period it's not a waiver but she's also also willing to deal with everything that comes with that man mm -hmm. i eat diddy she know diddy got other women i mean we all know diddy got other women we we watch it on instagram young miami don't give a damn because she's getting what she wants 
out of that relationship. And what's most important to her is you make a certain amount of money and you treat me a certain way. I don't care what you want to do. So that's why I just always ask women, are they willing to deal with that? Because if you're willing to deal with it, rock yourself out. Well, I can say this. I am not, I don't even discuss income with a person like I was, my last relationship was three years and we didn't discuss income as long as he, had, we're, when we're able to, when I want to go out of town, we can do things like that. We can go out to dinner. Sometimes you pay, sometimes I pay. As long as I'm going over your house and things ain't turned off or every time I turn around, you're asking me for help, then that when we when we decide to combine incomes, then that is when the income conversation takes part because I don't like discussing how much I make anyway. Got you. Fair enough. Let's keep going. Let's do the Kendra cam. Oh. Okay, we see you with your fatigue pants. I know. I just, I didn't even want to have these on. I have been It makes you, you a good booty. You got a good booty in those yeah, pants. I have been cute to death on days trying to get on your show. When I'm all face beating everything, and I'll never get on. And then look today well, in my rare form. You're, you're, you're fine, sweetheart. All right, Latoya, when was your last relationship? Three years ago. You don't have to answer, but when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, It's been a good minute. I would say probably about maybe about six months ago. Okay, six months ago. Um, why do you think you're single, Latoya? Well, um, my last relationship, I realized that it was some things that I had to work on. My mouth was bad. And... Um, I realized that those were things that I had to deal with before I went into my next relationship. So now I feel as though I am matured. I've learned from the things that I've done in the past. And now I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to actively date. And also, I was a little self-conscious because of my breast cancer. You know, the scars that the breast cancer left me or whatever. I was a little self-conscious in that. So, but I think I'm better now. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I'm sorry? Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I can be, like, I have a great sense of humor. Um, I can be your best friend. And that's important to me. I want when, you know, when I was in my last relationship, they would say, well, who is your best friend? And I would name somebody other than my boyfriend. I want to be my next boyfriend's best friend. I want to be a partner in crime when something good happens in their life. I want them to think of calling me because I am their biggest cheerleader. So um, I just really, I feel like they're getting the best addition of me now um, because I've learned from my mistakes and I feel like I'm ready now. And you feel like you're ready now. All right, yeah. let's do it. How do you want them to reach out to you, boo? Um, they can reach out to me on Instagram. I mean, on Facebook. My name is Latoya Broadus. Just like Snoop Dogg, last name, B as in boy, R-O-A, D as in David, U-S. Or they can reach out to me on IG at simply underscore the ball head truth is uh, my Instagram. So simply underscore the ball head truth on Instagram? Yes. And what is Facebook again? Um, Latoya Broadus. How do you spell that? Um, Latoya, L-A-T-O-Y-A, -A, um, last name is B as in boy, R-O-A, D as in David, U-S. And there you have it. Okay, boo, keep me posted how it goes, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Let's see who's next. Don't forget, make sure you're liking this post, subscribing to the page if you're not already a subscriber. I want to get a guy. I got a lot of women. I just had to um, delete a lot of women because I'm trying to get uh, men in the queue. Hello? Hi. Okay, have you ever been here before, baby? I haven't, no. Oh, let's do it. What's your name, honey? My name is Shavana. Shavana, where are you calling me from? I'm in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. How old are you? I'm 28. You're 28? You're 28. When's yeah. your birthday or zodiac sign? Uh, June 21st, so I'm a Gemini Cancer. Gemini. What you do for a living, Sh uh, Shavana, right? Yeah, I work from home at a call center. Work at a call center. Do you have any kids? I have one kid. How old is your child? 10, she's 10. 10 years old, all right. When's your birth, oh, you told me. So this is Shavana, Las Vegas, 28, a Gemini, works at a call center from home. One child, that's 10. Um, what kind of man are you looking for? 
Um, I guess I'm looking for someone that's fun, um, has a good head on their shoulders, takes care of their business, um, a nice guy. I am going to put out there now, I am a smoker. I smoke weed and cigarettes, so I'm just going to let everybody know <laughs> now, so there's no secrets, but um, you don't have to be a smoker, but just somebody cool that I can get along with. So, okay, she's a smoker <laughs> and cigarettes, so you have to be able to accept that. Uh, okay, you have any deal breakers yourself? Um, just liars, cheaters, um, someone that doesn't take care of their kids. I can't do that. Um, is it anyone like abusive? I don't do abuse at all. So no abuse. Um, no. Does he have to be in Las Vegas? No, I'm I'm open to anyone like near Nevada in the West Coast area. Okay. Um, what's the age range you would be? Um, I'm 28, so I would say 28 to maybe 40. 28 to 40. This is Shavana, Las Vegas, 28. Can the guy have kids? Yeah, that's fine. Um, just not more than like two. Okay. Not more than two. Do you want kids yourself one day? Um, more kids. I'm open to it for the right person if I'm married first this okay, time. You have children. I'm sorry. You have a daughter. So you're open to having more kids if you get married. Right. Um, just curious, would you do you plan on ever giving up cigarettes or no? I that is something that I want to do, yes, that I'm okay. actively it's just I've quit a few times and they do say like in order to like it it'll take you several times to quit cigarettes before you actually like quit for good. So it's it's just really hard. Okay. <laughs> it's a bad addiction, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, Shavana, um, does the guy have to look a certain way? Um, no, I would just say attractive to me. You don't have to look like any kind of way. Okay. Does he got to make a certain amount of money? Um, no, just enough to, to be able to take care of himself and whatever bills, stuff like that. All right. Let me see the Kendra cam. Okay. I have my ring light. Look, I'm, look, I'm not hiding nothing. I'm a bigger girl. So, and I'm fine with that, you know, just put it out there. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, we see you. Okay. Uh, we see you, bro. <laughs> Shavano, when was your last relationship? Um, Her dad, like six years ago, seven years ago. Seven years ago? It was with her dad. So That's like the last relationship. So when was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. I would prefer not. <laughs> not a problem. Why do you think you're single, boo? Um, I don't know. I just, I've been enjoying the single life so far because, you know, I was with my, her dad and it was just not a good relationship. He was really controlling and abusive and, um, I've just been enjoying my freedom and I don't know, I just, I date people, but I haven't found anyone worth being with. Yeah. Okay. All right. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I think because I'm caring, I'm very smart. Um, I cook, I can clean, I do all those things. So I think I'm a great catch in that aspect and other ways as well that I won't mention, <laughs> but yeah. So I'll go back to something you just said. You said you dated people, but they wasn't worthy for you to be in a relationship with. What was wrong with the men? The most recent guy I talked to, he was like, he was like 74. You dated you, a 74 year old man? I'm not dated. Like I went out with him a few times, but he was just like really obsessed, and um, it just wasn't like I couldn't. Like, I didn't think he wanted to be with me for the right reasons. So okay, so and he, you know, yeah, he's seventy four also. So so you said so. Did you consider yourself dating him or not? No. Okay. Well, so I mean, you know, dating is, I guess, yeah, but. It just, I knew he wanted to be with me like in a relationship and it just wasn't going to work out. He wanted a relationship. You didn't want the relationship. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Well, let's do it. This is Shivana in Las Vegas, 28. She'll date 28 to 40. Um, she's a Gemini. She has one child that's 10. Um, works at a call center from home. We'll have more kids if you get married. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, go ahead. Give me, um, put the, um, 
How do you want them to reach out to you? I apologize. <laughs> Uh, my Facebook is Shavana Grant, S H A V O N N A, and then Grant. I'm already getting messages, so. All right, so it goes back. Let's see what it so it's, it's the Facebook the way it's spelled right there? Yeah, because I joined here from Facebook, so. Okay. It's probably connected. So, so, no, it's not for YouTube, it's a little different. Um, only oh. when I'm on Facebook Live, that platform, it gets connected. But this is, so this is the way it's spelled on Facebook. Yes. Okay. Shavana Grant, S H A V O N N A Grant. Okay, boo. Keep me posted how it goes, love. I will. Thank you. Bye. All right. Let's keep going. I really need to get some men. It's really ladies' night. Hello. What you doing, girl? Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 What's your name? Amanda. Amanda, where are you calling us from? Chicago. Chicago, where are you going? I'm going to where my setup was. I was waiting, so I was doing my daughter's hair while I was waiting. Oh, you're doing your daughter's hair? You just got up off of mommy duties. <laughs> there we go. Amanda, where are you going from? Chicago, how old are you? 28. 28, what you do for a living? I'm a leasing agent. Leasing agent. You said you have a daughter, is that your only child? No, I have three. Three kids. How old are your kids? Um, well, five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. All by the same man? Um, two, technically, yeah. Two men. Um, have you ever been married? Yes, I was. Uh, I was married um, for seven years. When did you get divorced? Uh, two years ago now. Two years ago. Okay. Um, this is Amanda. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? Um, April 2nd. Um, Aries. Aries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Amanda Chicago is the Aries, 28, works at a leasing agent, three children, uh, was once married, got divorced two years mm -hmm. ago. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Um, okay, I did write it down. <laughs> um, someone who um, is very a traditional man. Um, that's been my biggest thing with getting back into the dating market is um, this is like the hookup culture a lot and I want someone who actually wants to have a family and, you know, grow with someone. Okay. Um, and let's see. Um, very masculine. Um, like I said, have very good values. Um, has their own place, at least. I don't really necessarily have a, um, I guess, money requirement. Um, I guess... Yeah, as long as they're able to take care of themselves, pretty, pretty okay. Okay. Um, and he, what are you looking at, honey? Oh, um, comments. Oh, don't worry about them. Focus on us. Okay. Um, okay. So, what's some deal breakers? Um, bad money management. That is that is definitely a big deal breaker for me. Um, that. Yeah, that's a big, big, big deal breaker. Um, no clear goals of what where they want their life to go. Um, just pretty much floating through life. I don't like that. I want goals myself, and I would want to have clear goals with a, a partner, well, a man. Um, is not willing to grow and improve on themselves. Um, and doesn't really live in Chicago. That's kind of a deal breaker for me as well. So you want the guy to live in Chicago? Yeah, or at least somewhere near here. Um, I'm open, of course, to travel and everything, but it's just because I have children, um, it's kind of hard to have an actual relationship if someone lives across the country. Gotcha. What's the age range you would do? You're 28. Um, so about 26 to about like 45. 26 to 45. Can he have kids? Yes, that's fine. Do you want more kids? I do. I do. Um, of course, I want to get married again before I have kids, more kids. Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Um, I have no preference. I've dated um, all different types of like backgrounds for men and height um, and weight. So, of course, I, I'm i almost 5'8 myself, um, so probably not under 5'7". I couldn't do five six. I've dated five six before, um, and then not extremely. I guess to be honest, not extremely overweight. Okay. Um, not under I five do like and, not, and not overweight. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Girl, stop worrying about them comments. Sorry, All right, I'm let's nervous. Do, let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. We see you. All right. <laughs> so um, this is Amanda Chicago, 28, works at a leasing agent, prefers a person to be in Chicago, has three kids, does want more kids. When was your last relationship? Um, two years ago when I was married. Okay, when you got divorced. Okay. And um, mm-hmm. well, you already explained to us why you got divorced. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, it's been a while. Like I said, I'm not into just hooking up, so I kind of do want to have a emotional connection with someone before sleeping with them. So it's been a while. It's been a while. All right. Mm-hmm. And um, why do you think you're single? Um, because pretty much the same thing. I was a wife for seven years. Um, I grew up in a traditional family. I, my parents are married. Well, my mom and my stepdad are married We've been together for over 20 years. And I was never in a relationship before I got married. I got married at 20 after only five months of dating. And that's all I know how to do is be a wife. And um, so it's been hard trying to get back into the field and being single and not realize, like realizing that what I want doesn't align with someone else. And as soon as I see that, I just leave the situation ship. I don't want a situation ship. <laughs> you don't want a situation ship. Understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are very popular in, in this day and age. Um, mm-hmm. So, Amanda, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm uh, very, I guess, have a traditional like sense of values. I'm submissive. I'm fun, feminine. I do have... Um, very intellectual, um, very nurturing, I guess. Um, I am always up for adventures. I don't like to just be in a club all the time. I do actually want to go out and explore the world and everything. And I, I want to grow with you as a person, be supportive, like everything. So I think okay. that'll be a pretty good catch. All right. And then I want to ask this, what role do you want the new guy to play in your kid's lives? I'm definitely looking for a father figure. I don't like, obviously I know it's, it's been tough having children. I understand that um, not everyone is looking to take on that uh, responsibility, which I completely understand. But um, I have stepfathers been in my life since I was seven years old and I love him to death. And I don't, you know, I love and appreciate what he's done for me and my siblings. And that's the type of man I will look for in my children's life as well. That's, you know, that's, really big for me. So if you don't want to be a father figure to my children, then, you know, don't necessarily have to waste time. Do not waste time. Don't waste time. All right, let's do it. Amanda Chicago, 28, works at a leasing agency. Three kids is an Aries, was once married, got divorced two years ago. How do you want the guy to reach out to you? Um, Instagram for sure. You can do um, Facebook as well. Um, but is there Instagram name at the bottom? Yes. What is your ethnicity? I am a mix. I'm Puerto Rican and black. Puerto Rican and black. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it says mix underscore. Um, how do you pronounce that? Mandy. Mandy 01. So M I X E D underscore M A N D I I zero one. The way it is written at the bottom. I really appreciate that. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you, Boo. And keep me posted how it goes, honey. Of course. And I wanted to tell you, I actually saw you um, a couple, like I think last month um, with a live 120 event. Um, I was actually there with my um, last my month. Agency. I think it was last month. What was the event? Um, the live one twenty event, the one twenty live when we were at the church and with um, what's his name? Pastor Sharp. I no, not Pastor Sharp. We but the guy, church? the 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 motivational speaker. Oh, so to say, yeah. Sir? Okay, no, he's oh. The yeah okay yes because that was held at a church Eric Thomas Eric Thomas yes I was there and actually my CEO actually was one of the speakers on stage as well okay. and so it was really great seeing you in person very inspirational thank you you know shout out to Eric Thomas E T the hip hop preacher one of my favorite human beings on this planet yes he um, was great yeah he tricked me because he asked me to host. Um, an interview with Tabitha Brown, which I'm going to do anything the ETS. That's how much I adore him. And I love Tabitha Brown. So, Brown, so it was a win-win for me. But he mm-hmm. tricked me into doing a solo speak. And I wasn't prepared to do that. But that was like on the whim. But it went really well. 
Yeah, so, I love your whole Janet Jackson story. Yeah, my whole so Janet funny. Jackson story. My whole Janet Jackson story. That literally behind the stage, which I don't know, that was 15 minutes put together before I went on stage. Oh, wow. Uh, but it, it all worked it itself great. out. I love, love Eric Thomas. If you guys are not familiar with E.T., the hip-hop preacher, get on YouTube. Get on anything you can. He will change your whole entire life. He is uh, one of my favorite human beings. So, um, E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. Well, I'm happy you were there. Hopefully you got some great inspiration that day. I did. I yeah. did. All right. Well, listen, Amanda, you keep me posted how it goes. Beautiful. All right. Thank you. For Bye, that. baby. Bye. Okay. So I got people buying. I never talk about how to buy these stickers because literally I don't know. Um, Lamar said self, she is self-aware and reasonable on her position in the dating market. That's what Lamar said. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I never talk about the super stickers because I don't really know how that shit works. I just be want to have good Wi-Fi and host the show. Like, and if I could get through a, a, a show with good Wi-Fi, like we going, like like we are doing right now, my braid just might be a superpower. Maybe I need to always have a braid in my hair to have good Wi-Fi, child. Shit, that's all I care about. So when you buy the super um, stickers, I will try to read what you say, but. I'm over here trying to host the show, child. I'll be forgetting to even promote that. We got to get a guy. I really want a guy. Hello, Ash? Okay, I don't see him, so I got to kick him out. Um, I got to see your face Um, because I don't want to risk it. We doing so well. We doing so well. I don't risk it. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Have you been here before? No, and it's my first time trying to get on. Oh, you are a good luck charm, girl. I have people that be trying to win this show for months. I know. I watched the show. Oh, my goodness. This is wild. <laughs> What's your name, honey? My name is Natalie. Natalie, where are you calling me from? D.C. D.C. is in the building. How old are you? I'm 37. 37. What you do for a living? I'm a history teacher. History teacher. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? Interestingly enough, a previous caller, we have the same birthday, but we identify differently. So July 22nd, but I identify as a Leo. Okay. Do you have any kids, Natalie? No, I have a, I have a dog. No kids. Uh, so this is Natalie DC, 37, a Leo, history teacher. No children. She has a dog, though. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Okay. I made a list while I was waiting. Um, someone who's sweet. Cuddly, smells delicious, has a sense of adventure, uh, is willing to spend time, like quality time. Someone who has experienced hunger in their life and knows how to self-satisfy. Because to me, that demonstrates that you have life experience that has worked in your favor. Um, someone who knows that faith is important in creating things. So you don't need to go to church, but you need to know that there's something invisible guiding your material movements. Someone who's self-sufficient and able to donate to my various causes. Um, taller than 5'7", I'm pretty short, so I'm not too thick, I'm not too pressed on that. Someone who's begun building their legacy. So I wanna go to what you said, willing to donate to your various causes. I, I, I work in my community, it's, it's a major part of my life. And I do a lot of fundraising events. So I need to know that when I come to you with the puppy eyes, you are self-sufficient enough that you will help your woman out during her fundraising efforts. Okay. How much contribution are you looking for him to contribute? Look, I've had anywhere from $20 to $10,000. So it's just like, I'm really passionate about helping my folks. I don't need you in that arena with me, but I need to know that you can support me in some way, either in the arena or with your pockets. Okay, I'm, my light almost fell. Okay, fair enough. So what's some deal breakers for you? <sighs> Kendra, a spiritual vampire. Ooh. Someone who's just negative. They suck the life out of you. It's like, woe is me. Like everyone who is living has trauma and I need to know that you know how to deal with it. I will be there to support with to support you, but you can't be sucking out my spiritual energy. Someone who's inconsistent or flaky, talks shit about other people, hygiene, teeth. I have this amazing gap. Uh, for reproduction purposes, I would like a man who has like a, a closed set so our babies can be a mixture. 
Um, someone who's insecure and someone who's mean spirited or arrogant. Okay. Could he have kids already? Yes. Okay. Two, two, um, two baby mamas max, preferably older children, uh, because I've already raised kids. Um, my sister had five kids. I've been raising kids since I was six. So I feel that I've already done that. So you can have your own kids if we decide to create our own. That's part of the legacy. Cool. Uh, but having your own kids is cool with me. So other than having good teeth and a good smile and no gap, because you, you know, this genetically um, child has to have the mixture of both. Anything else requirements when it comes to a parent? Uh, this is going to sound weird, but someone who has a firm neck, because like there's a way that a man walks like with a straight shoulder and a firm neck that lets me know that he hasn't been broken down by life. So someone who looks solid. Someone looks solid. Okay. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? No, I just need you to be able to donate and be able to pay your rent and your bills. Got you. Let's do the Kendra cam, Natalie. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay, we see you, boo. Oh, you got on a short set in the house. I was not expecting this. <laughs> well, you pushed, you pushed the request to be here. I know, but it's I, I always hear people saying I've been on for months, years. I never get on. So I was just like, okay. Oh, okay. And I even need to reactivate my Instagram. Like, that's how much I didn't expect to be on here tonight. Okay, well, let's keep continue. Let's, let's keep going. Okay. What was your last relationship? <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, 2013. All right, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? This time last year, I think that's why I'm on here tonight. This time last year, so it's been a year since you had yeah. got your son. Yeah. Okay. All right, so why do you think you're single, Natalie? Ah, <sighs> basic, uh, I'm a survivor of the 2010 Haitian earthquake. After that catastrophe, I just threw myself into my community. I had to do my education. My parents always told me, you don't start dating until you have your own. And it just took me all of this time to have my own. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Man, I'm hilarious. Like, I keep people with the kiki. I, um, I just... Because of that earthquake experience, I know that it's a privilege to be alive. And it's just, I bring that energy every single day during my walks with the dog to my students, to my community. And I want to add that to someone's life. Uh, yeah. And I also, yeah. And, and I also know how to cook Haitian food. So that's See one of Haitian that. food. I, I think you're dope, Natalie. Thank you, Kendra. I think you're dope. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's do it. So this is Natalie, DC, 37. Oh, what's the age range you would date? Uh, 30 to 60. 30. Oh, you go all the way to 60. I've, I've, most of my, most of my uh, previous partners have been in their proper 50s. Tell me why. Um, I think it's because I started raising kids when I was six. So it's like, the type of conversations I would be having, it would be with men who all who already had that experience because raising those kids was a major part of my life and we could just vibe on that topic. Okay. Well, you know, men your age, you can uh, vibe with men your age. They also had for dads. No, I do. I do. But it's like, I've been on a, like a 10 year dating hiatus. So when I was dating, gotcha. those are the people who I was talking to. But now that I'm in my thirties, folks are about that life. Why were you on a 10 year dating hiatus? But, um, so it's like, I had PTSD from the Haitian earthquake and I really needed to do a lot of work to, to build myself back up. And when I did try to date, I realized that I was taking out my rage against the earthquake on my partner. And some of my best friends are black men and I didn't like doing that to my partner. So I was like, you know, I just need to exit out the scene work this out, and when I'm in a better position to come back in the scene. Okay, fair enough. How do you want the guy to reach out to you? Instagram, and I just reactivated it. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's the name on the screen, 
Natu CBS, and I'm just gonna follow your page right now. So this it's it, so it's the way it's written. So it's N A T O U C B S. Yes. Okay. All right, Natalie. Well, you keep me posted how it goes, love. She is in DC, 37, a history teacher, no kids, a Leo. She'll date 30 to 60. You can have kids, only two baby mamas, and you do want kids once you get married. Yes. Right. Okay, boo. Thank you for checking thank in. Thank you, Kendra. You're welcome. Bye, baby. All right, we got some men in the queue, so I got to get to the guys. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, Kendra? Oh, your Wi Fi is a little. We got to get your Wi Fi together, baby. I want to talk to you, but I can't take no Wi Fi chances. Oh, this I understand. I'm sorry. I'm in a hotel, so I probably have to wait till another week. Well, let's see if it's clearing up. Kenneth, where are you calling me from, honey? Um, Mountain View, California. Mountain View, California. Is that where you live? No, ma'am. I'm actually from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm a traveling technician. You know okay. how you have traveling nurses? I'm a traveling technician. I love it. You're blurry. So if you can get it together, I'll let you come back on, okay? Well, we'll try again once I get a booster for this hotel. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. No problem, <laughs> baby. Sorry. Yeah, we've been doing so well, child. You know I can't risk nothing. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you're, you're too close to the camera, sweetie. All right, all right, let me see, all right, all right. You got a microphone and we need light. All right, can you see me now? I can see you. Okay, your name uh, is Nate? Yes. Where are you calling me from, Nate? Uh, I'm in Long Beach right now, Long Beach, California. Long Beach, how old are you? 41. 41, Um, what do you do for a living? Uh, security supervisor. Security supervisor. You have any kids? Yes, four. Four boys. How old uh, are your boys? 15, 13, 9, and 7. 9 and 7? Yes. All by the same woman? Yes. Was you once married? Yes. Nate, you got to get in the middle. We can't, can't, can't you see how I see you? We need as much light as possible. All right. That's and you're cool. like, you got, no, that's not cool. Get, get centered. There you go. All that's right. better. That's Do you cool. have more light than this? Yeah, hold on a second. You came on with a microphone. Like, you about to start singing. These are my confessions. I ain't going to do none of that, man. <laughs> like, you about to be an R&B singer for us, Nate, with the microphone. All right, get uh -huh. in the center of the screen, boo. Can't you see how we see you? Yeah, I see you. It look good to me. No. Okay, now you're centered. All right, cool. All right. Yes. All right. Nate, Long Beach, 41, security supervisor, four boys. All your boys by the same woman? Yes, ma'am. Was you once married? Yes. When did you get divorced? 28th of December. Of last, last year. year. Yes. Why did I get divorced? Oh, we've been separated for about five years. And, uh, you know, it was already rocky. So uh, when you spend that much time apart, it makes it worse. You know what I mean? It's better to work it out right after rather than waiting. So, uh, okay. Understandable. All I was right. willing to work it out. So it ain't, it ain't my fault. I believe yeah. in family. He was willing to work it out. Okay. Nate, what's your zodiac sign or birthday? I'm Scorpio, November 21st. Scorpio. All right, let's get into it. So this is Nate, Long Beach, California, 41. Scorpio, security supervisor, four boys. He was once married, um, just got divorced last year. What kind mm -hmm. of woman are you looking for, honey? Um, It's attentive, uh, available. I mean, nice to, you know, regular traditional women. I mean, likes to... uh. Please her man, especially when a man is not going to take advantage of that nature. I just like to please her man, you know what I mean? That's it. Okay, what's some deal breakers? Not being available. Uh, that's probably about it. Uh, I appreciate if they had some kind of work, some job, you know what I mean? It's um, kind of hard. Could, could the woman have kids already? Yeah, I love the kids, man. You know, yeah, I ain't no problem with no kids. As long as okay. ain't keeping you away from me, I mean, it's all good. You don't want the kids around you, though. I said, as long as you ain't keep, they ain't keeping you away from me. Like, oh, you know, right. not having a babysitter becomes a, an issue. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Okay. So this is Nate Long Beach, 41. What's the age range you want to date? I'd say 35, 42. 35 to 42. Um, does she have to look a certain way? Not really. I mean, I like them thick, but not too big. You know what I mean? Other thick, than that, but not too big. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like them. I like them yellow, light skin, yellow, like real high yellow. Gina from Martin, yellow. You know what I mean? She likes high yellow. 
Um, yes. and, and you're going to have the right to say that because women say they want dark skin men all the time. So if you right. want a high yellow woman, that is your that is your right. right. I don't think dark and dark go good together. You know what I mean? Well, I disagree with that. We can have our separate opinions on that one. Absolutely. But you do have the right to desire a fair skinned woman if that's what you want. No, no, maybe I said it wrong. Uh, they just compliment each other when it's, you know what I mean? I that's still what... disagree with that. But you have the right to your opinion. Dwayne Absolutely. Wade and Gabrielle Union look amazing together. Gabrielle's not light skinned. She's like darker like him. That's what I said. I, well, no, you said. Oh, you're you saying they that, look good together? Yeah, they look good together. Which one of them would be the dark skinned one? Because they're both like, they're both of the chocolate hue. Uh, I'm dark skinned. Like I know the light is on, but you got. I'm talking about dark. You know what I mean? Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union are your complexion. What are you talking about? Nah, it ain't my complexion. I think you confused because the light is on. I like make people lighter. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm probably a little you don't darker. Look lighter, you look like. First of all, the, now I am lighter because of the light. I am the same complexion as you, but the lighter is making me bright. We don't have, we, we can move past this, but right, right. Um, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union are, are dark skinned people. You don't agree with that? So nah, you think that they're darker than both of them? Absolutely, yeah. I do. Okay, well, I, well I, I I've, seen, I've seen I've uh, seen Gabrielle in person and she's she has a lighter, uh, real light complexion. It's not as dark as you may think it is. Oh, no, I know Gabrielle Union in real life. I know oh, how. I'm sorry. I, All right, my bad. <laughs> yeah, well, I, mean, I actually have a picture of us on the wall since uh, uh, since we're talking that talk right now. Oh, she's going to floss on me with the picture, Brian. Oh, I can't come off. It's like really stuck. I want to have, oh, shit, why is my picture this stuck? Oh, God. Ken Kendra don't win Hollywood. Oh, Kendra was born Hollywood. I'm just myself. <laughs> Right. This is me and Gabby. So I guess she is a little. She's yeah, still see? chocolate, though. Nah, I'm talking about chocolate. See. Okay, well we gotta move forward because yeah, because you act like you never seen a real dark skin man. You know what I mean? All right, it's it's a waste of conversation, but okay, let's keep going. All right, so you prefer a light skinned woman because you feel like that complements your skin tone better. Absolutely. Okay, there you have it. All right, so does she gotta make a certain amount of money? Nah. Okay. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam Nate. You got your pajamas on? <laughs> Man, it's oh, funny because they pajamas, see. they sweatpants. That's what <laughs> can you see? Yeah, we can we can see. We can see. All right. You're good. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't wear pajamas now. You wear pajamas? I said I don't wear pajamas now. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. So, Nate, uh, what was your last relationship? My wife, uh, probably about five years ago. I've been in a relationship. I wouldn't really call them relationships, man. Uh, but usually Let I've been alone. Was, just curious, was your wife a wife a, a lighter skinned woman? Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, she was. Okay, got you. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of all I've been used to, you know what I mean? Okay, fair enough. Um, you don't got an answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? About a week ago. Is that woman an option? Mm -mm. Why not? Uh -huh. She uh, like real tough and manly, like you know what I mean. She be asking me if I want smoke and all of this other kind of stuff, and uh, she don't believe in cooking for her brother and none of that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So every time she come on, I'm the one doing the cooking and all that. You know what I mean? So uh, she's made it very clear she just wants sex, man. And, uh, Man, then she want a relationship. Then she don't know what she want. You know what I mean? She need a therapist, but she don't think so. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, she just too she too tough. Like I'm talking about tough. And when I say she asked me if I want smoke, I mean that for real. Now she said, "Do you want smoke?" As in, like to hit a blunt, or do you want smoke? No, nah, I wish that I'll take that one. But nah, it's like, do you want to argue? Do you want to go back? And really, she doesn't have the intellect to go back and forth. So she ends up cursing and then she just leaves and then it's like real crazy, man. Oh, you gotta see her, man. It's crazy. Well, she's gonna see this. So if she didn't know how you feel before, she will know now. Yeah, she know. Oh, she already I don't, hide, I don't hide nothing. All right. So um, I guess you're single because you're divorced, but do you care to answer why do you think you're single? I'm running to women just like her. You know what I mean? Uh I've been tied down since I was 19, so I realized coming out that uh the dating thing changed drastically since i was 19 i mean 
So uh, that's really why I'm single. I'm used to a certain type because I've been married for what a long time. Then I, before that, I was in a relationship for a long time. So uh, I've been spoiled in certain ways and just finding anything that can match to that, which is simple stuff like a sandwich here, some food there. Hey, I love you, baby. Stuff like that. You hear me? But uh, I run into women who don't believe that's necessary or just they women just want sex more than God. I'll put it that way. Women want sex more than God. Especially the independent ones. If, if they got everything they already want and they, and they got a good job and stuff, they ain't really tripping on that uh, mushy love stuff. That, you know what I mean? They just mm -hmm. want sex. They want to get back to work. <laughs> Hit me off and let me get back to work, child. You said, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. All right. So that's okay. Well, that's the reason why you think that you're single. So why would a woman be lucky to be with you? I'm a good man. I'm loyal. Um, good with kids, you know what I mean? Um, that's that's about it, man. I'm a love the Lord, you know what I mean? My aim is to always please Him, you know what I mean? Uh, I cook very well, so I don't expect you cooking hard. Oh, I just want to know that you would. You don't have to do it all the time. I believe whoever cooks the best should be cooking the majority. You know what I mean, but anyway, uh, yeah, I do that. Uh, I'm a ten for gas in the car. Do stuff that men supposed to do. Rub your back, rub your feet, all stuff like that. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, Not that okay. I'm trying to use that as a selling point, but. Anyway. Do you want to get married again? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know I mean, okay. uh, I don't want to just be shacking up. You know what I mean? So, if, so a couple uh, things. Not... Does, does woman got to be in Long Beach? L.A., Compton, you know what I mean? Uh, in the area. You know, it's, area it's, it's, of course, in the state of California, of course. California, for sure. What's yeah. the age range you would date? Uh, like 35. I go to fifty if you look real, real good. You know what I mean? But uh, you can say thirty-five to fifty. Thirty-five to fifty. All right, let's do it. This is Nate Long Beach, California, Scorpio, forty-one, security supervisor. He'll date thirty-five to fifty. Are you done with having kids, or would you have more? Only if I get married first. I if love you get married. Kids, man. Yeah. Okay. If it's a woman that don't have none, and you'd be all right with me, man. You can get pregnant and got to worry about me belling out on you and all that other stuff. You're me. Okay. But, uh, you seem like a so you seem like a more of a traditional type of guy. Yeah, absolutely. All the way, man. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's do it. All right, Nate. How you want the woman to reach out to you? The light skinned woman to reach out to you. <laughs> no, I hear you. I don't do that. Um, <laughs> That's what you said. Instagram. Uh, <laughs> T H E. T H E. Underscore. Underscore. Real. Real. Underscore. Man, smoke dog. S M O K E D O double G. D O double G the underscore real underscore smoke dog. Yes. Okay. The underscore real underscore smoke dog. All right, yep. Nate, boo. Keep me posted how it goes. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. You're looking good today, too, boy. I'm so dark skinned. How can I look good to you? You don't, you is not as dark as you think you are. I, I want to be as dark as I can. I enjoy <laughs> being dark. Sit, sit in the sun. You won't have no problem. No, I'm already dark skinned. I'm a chocolate well, woman. All right, I guess we disagree on what dark skin really is. Go to Sudan. They'll show you what dark skin is. I've been to Africa. Now, yes. Now, I will say okay. when I went to Africa, there were darker complected people. Thank but you. I don't feel like I'm too. my shade is too far off of yours. I have a big light that is changing my complexion. I'll tell you moment. what. But, those dark skin people, we appreciate you wanting to be in our group. You know what I mean? First of all, I don't want to be in no group. I am a part of the group. Okay? All right, all right. Excuse me. And Kendrick. unlike you, I enjoy being dark skinned. All right. I, think I do. You might, I, I think I you might not complexion. enjoy it. I love my complexion. Okay. Just don't want to be standing next to it. <laughs> there you go, man. See? That's what you said. You said you said two dark skinned people don't look good together. That's what you said. I changed it up and said they compliment each other. You know what I mean? I may I misspoke. You know what I mean? I cleaned that up real good with a mop and everything. Okay. Well, all right. All right. Well, Okay. Bye, Mabel. Bye, Kendra. Ooh, yeah. Let me tell you something. I am dark skinned, proud to be, ain't going to have it any other way. Shout out to your complexion, whatever you rock, whatever you represent, you should love it and enjoy it. But I have always, my whole entire life, enjoyed being a dark skinned woman. I do know the stigma behind my complexion. Only reason I noticed the stigma behind my complexion, not because I was raised it, 
um, because my parents did a great job in making me celebrate my complexion. I had brown skin dolls. My father would only allow me to have dark skin dolls. As a child, I didn't understand that reason why until I got into the world, people would say things, oh, you're pretty for a dark skin girl. That's the dumbest. It's not a compliment, okay? I'm pretty because I'm pretty. You don't have to add I'm pretty for a dark skin girl. That makes no sense to me. Um, I had a guy once told me that I have the confidence of a light skinned woman because I know I know I almost swore, <laughs> but because I am extremely confident, I know my worth, I know who I am, and I know what I bring to the table. And he said I had the confidence of a light skinned woman. So I celebrate being a dark skinned woman because I am very much aware of the stigma behind my complexion, and I am very much going to represent to the highest degree at all times. Now, back to this live. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Miss Kendra. You got my Hi. live frozen before, girl. I know, and I oh, thank you so much. So you moving all over again. You stay in one I'm second. done. I'm done. <laughs> How girl, are you? What's <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> What's Thank the name, honey? Marquita. Marquita. Where are you calling us from? I am in Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. How old are you, honey? I'm 40. 40. Okay. What you do for a living? Retired, actually. Retired from what? The Army. The Army. Okay. Medically retired, ma'am. Okay. Marquita, Phoenix, Arizona, 40, retired from the military. Do you have any kids? I have three, uh, 16, 12, and 11. 12 and 11. Was you once married? I was married twice. So okay. my oldest has a, sep a different dad and the two youngest have the same dad. Why did you get divorced the second time? Um, he was a big time cheater. Um, and then he tried to kill me. Oh my God, he tried to kill you? Yeah, I wrote a whole book about it, so. <laughs> Right, well, I'm happy you're alive and well. Yes, me too. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Marquita Phoenix, when's your birthday or zodiac sign? August 20th. I'm a Leo. It's been like Leo night, honey. <laughs> Leo night. So Marquita <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. She's a Leo, retired from the military. Three kids. What kind of man you desire, honey? Um, a mature one. Um, someone loyal, honest. I am very uh, transparent. Um. So someone who is the same, uh, generous. I am generous. I am selfless. Um, I'm loving. And so I'm saying these things because are, these are things that I desire in my mate. Um, I put my, I put everyone above myself. Um, and so I would desire my person to do the same. And by that, um, I just means he's going to put me above him and I'm going to do the same. So we're always going to make sure we're taken care of. Um, I find that a lot of times I am a, uh, uh, kind of left carrying the bag, you know, so nobody to have my back, but, you know, I'm taking care of everyone else. So it would be nice to close that circle off and um, get someone to, to just be a, a full-time, a partner. Um, he's honest. He's dedicated to us. I'm very family oriented. So I would appreciate him to be the same. He does not need a harem of women to be entertained by. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. I'm so nervous. Do you know, Miss Kendra? I've been trying for two years, and I rehearsed, honey. I saw something you posted recently. You're like, girls, y'all be rehearsing. Yes, I be rehearsing. I be <laughs> rehearsing, Miss Kendra. So anyway, <laughs> so now that I'm actually here, I'm like nervous and I'm shaking. So I'm so sorry. Well, you're okay. <laughs> you're so precious. Okay, you're so precious. Did I ask? Okay, listen. Now that was your requirements. Did we go to your deal breakers? Um, I don't do smokers. Um, well, weed, because I'm almost a little bit high. That could be a little while I'm nervous. Are you smoking weed tonight? No, I don't smoke it because that's not ladylike. <laughs> so I eat it. <laughs> the edibles. So don't Let me smoke. Tell you something. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm just not a weed person, right? I don't smoke weed. Um, yeah. I have been tricked, not tricked. I did gummies twice and hated it. Weed is not my thing. Like, oh my gosh, I feel it's okay. not for me. So that I don't know. I'm not gonna show you because I don't want you to get in trouble. But it's like a little piece of chocolate melting your mouth. Is the 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 what weed does for you is just not something is good for me. Like the two times that I did gummies, I I felt like 
it was just horrible. So, but shout out to you. Shout out to okay. you. Shout out to all the other weed people who live by it. It comes about. I have a friend who has it in the medical. That's why I had it because she has medical weed gummies. And we were in yes. Jamaica, and my dumb ass had a, a half of one, and I was like, when is it over? Because I hate the way I'm feeling. So, <laughs> but back to you, back to you. All right. Okay. So, okay. So you you like weed? What else, honey? <laughs> well, that's like, not. Are you your deal breakers? Um, I don't. I think no, no, ma'am. We just did. Um, I just said no smokers, no drinkers. My ex was a big drinker, and that's when the whole attempted thing, you know, murder incident tried to happen. So, um, no, no drinkers. Um, like I said, no, not a lot of women. I'm very loyal. Um, I'm loyal to a fault. Um, and so I require that in my person. I don't. So, okay. And I'm going to be quick because I know you got other people waiting, but so I learned from you too. Like I said, two years I've been following. So, you know, you try to say, you know, dating around and you got to you know, find your, find your person kind of thing. Um, I struggle with that. And so that's something that I've been trying to do. And that's one of the reasons I'm single now, um, because I've been trying to, you know, listen and learning from, from the show and from other women. Let me ask you, uh, when did you get divorced again, Marquita? Um, my divorce has been final since 20, since last year, 2021, but, um, we've been separated since 2017. So five years, okay, COVID so me, just came down. Got you. Okay. Let, let me keep going with the questions. We keep it moving. Yes, ma'am. So yes, does, the guy, does the guy have to look a certain way? Um, I would prefer him to be maybe about 5'10 or higher, taller. I'm 5'6". Um, I really have this fantasy about big arms, um, but that's not a requirement. Um, I'm more based on, can you motivate me? Are you supportive? Are you going to push me to be the best version of myself while I push you to be the best version of yourself? Um, so it's not necessarily something about, you know, all about the looks. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, <laughs> I will say this, Miss Kendra, I am not a materialistic girl. I'm very basic as far as, you know, my dress and all that type of thing. But I am big on creating memories. So I like staycations. I like taking spontaneous trips. So um, I want him to be able to afford that. Yes. but On these, on, on these trips, are you guys paying for um, yourselves or did you desire him to pay for you? Is he going to... I'm going to remain a lady. Um, no, oh, he's so gonna basically you're saying, are, are you guys going to be intimate? You expect him to pay? Yeah. You did. <laughs> you getting all these tricks. You, you don't pay something. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you want to take you on trips and he's paying for you in him. Okay. Just want to make sure but, we're clear. For the yeah, please be clear about that. And I'm not saying it as like, I'm a gold digger because these are things that I will, I'm will i willing to do as well. I can afford to take you on spontaneous surprise vacations, but can you do the same for me? So I just want there to, I want it to be reciprocal. You want and to I haven't been able to find that, yes. Yeah, you haven't been able to find that yet. Correct. Okay, okay. So, all right, what's the age range you want to date? Um, Marquita? Um, I would say 40 to 55. 40 to 55. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This Marquita Phoenix, 40 to 55. Um, let's do the Kendra cam. Yeah. Can you see okay? We can see you, honey. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's what I see everybody doing. So I'm like, oh, let me do it too, honey. <laughs> okay. Oh, Marquita, <laughs> was your marriage your last relationship? It was. Yes, ma'am. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? It's been a couple of months. A couple of months. Okay. Marquita, yeah. why do you think you're single? Um, One of the, the previous guests, she said something and I was like, that's freaking it. I'm a wife, Miss um, Kendra. I struggle to date multiple people at a time. Um, but when I'm talking to someone, I want to cater to that person. I want to be, you know, just all about that person um but then when that's not given back in return i shut down and then i'm like forget this dating is for the birds i'm gonna be single i got a rose honey i'm good right <laughs> that's it but then rose, i'm like oh, uh, oh. Rose, the, the the rose got more women in the cannon <laughs> the rose is the real player player child Right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, that's that's honestly where I've been. Um, and I think now it's time to change that. OK, well, let's do it. This is Marquita Phoenix. 
So date 48 to 55. I'm assuming you're done with having kids or would you have more? Oh, no, I'm completely done. You're just done with having children. Yes, um, ma'am. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I think I'm fun. I am um, I am an extrovert who requires a lot of space. But um, when I'm, you know, with you, I am catering. I am loving. I am cuddle, you know, touchy filly, um, loyal, honest, dedicated. I'm going to push you to be the best version of yourself um, and be supportive. Okay. All right. Let's do it, Marquita. Oh, can I say one thing? Sure. I'm so I'm so so sorry. Um, I want something else, um, but I want someone who does not think that um, having a housekeeper or a chef is asinine um, or like out of the question. So someone who sees the glass is half full. Um, I mean, I've you know told this to other people before, and they're like, "You're never going to get this," or "That's stupid." So someone who can see that in their future as well. Or so someone think that's okay <laughs> with having a housekeeper. Or and, and a chef, right? Who doesn't think that's ridiculous? Okay, got you. Okay. All right. So let's do it. This is Marquita Phoenix, 40, retired from the army, military, three kids, was once married. Uh, you was married twice, you said, right? Yes, ma'am. And you want to get married one more time? Oh, no, God. <laughs> oh, you don't want to get married anymore? God, no. What did you like it about marriage? I, I enjoyed um, being married while, while things were good, but it cost me so much to get out that thing. Uh, it's not worth that to me. Okay. I can be loyal and dedicated without the piece of paper. Loyal and dedicated. I, I know. I understand, girl. 48 <laughs> So how do you want the guy to reach out to you? Um, no, not just four zero, four, four, 40 to 55. 40 to 55 is what she will do. Yeah. Thank you for that correction. And he doesn't have to be in Phoenix. Oh, no, I don't think he's here. <laughs> How do you want the guy to reach out to you? Um, Facebook is good, and it's just uh, my name, like it's on the screen there. Marquita Lusk, so it's in uh, our, so it just looks just like that. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, boo, let's do it. Keep me posted how it goes, honey. Thank you, Ms. Kendra. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being so patient for two years. Yes. <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye. Let me see if I have any guys. Don't forget, make sure you guys are liking this post. Um, you should be liking it. We have 8,000 people watching via Facebook and YouTube, but there's only 2,600. I don't ask y'all for much. So I think liking this live, especially since the Wi-Fi guys have been blessing our soul tonight. So y'all really should like this live because we haven't had any Wi-Fi issues. Thank the Lord. Whoo, child. This, this ponytail must got Wi-Fi capabilities. <laughs> I might have to put this ponytail on every time I host YouTube, child. Shit. Um, but like this, like it, and then subscribe. The biggest thing, if you're watching from Facebook, I want y'all to still subscribe to YouTube, okay? You just smoking a blunt? Just like it ain't nobody's business, huh? Oh, my gosh. Yes, I am. Hey, bro. <laughs> I guess you didn't want to be here. Darius Love, I can't see you. Hello? What? Pull over. Let me pull over. Hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> are you are you almost pulling over, Darius? Oh. Oh child, we cannot see your face, baby. I'm right here. That you right there? That's the best light we got. No, I got better light. Hold on one second. City. All right, so much better. All right, so are you a truck driver? I am. I am. I am. I am. All right, can you hear me? To the truck driver. Say again, honey. No, I was making sure you can hear me. I can hear you good. Darius, how old are you? 34. 34. A truck driver. Yes, what city do you live in? I live in Atlanta. Atlanta. Do you have any kids? No, no ma'am. No, we don't do that around these parts. You don't you don't want kids? No man. Would you date a woman with kids? Um, I would prefer not to. You know what I'm saying? Um, you would have to be a mother, not a woman with kids. So, um, but I am. I'm I'm open to all spectrum of people. Uh, I'm a trans man, so you know. Oh, you're a trans man. So you were yes, born a woman. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of trans um, people on my show lately. And I have to be honest, I do not know unless they tell me. Facts. I mean, I'm going to be open, though, because if you hit me up, I don't want you to be like, well, who's that little stud girl that was in your... That was me. That was me back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So whatever the case may be, I'm still cute, whatever I do. So it is whatever. <laughs> Can you help me understand how you got all the facial hair? Um, I, I'm hormone therapy. I take testosterone. So if you got it in your family, you go, you go have it. You know, a lot of dudes ask me like from like back in high school, and elementary, back where I grew up at, they like, yo, hey, what you using to get a beard? Like, you know, genetics, baby, genetics. You either got it or you don't. <laughs> oh, child. Okay. Okay. Um, this is another invasive question. You don't have to answer. Did you get body surgery done? Um, the way I'm going to answer that is I do have a flat chest. You know what I'm saying? I definitely did that. But what, what goes below is only for who knows what they're going to do with it. So, you know, if we ain't going that route, I ain't going to answer that question. Fair enough. I like that answer. I, I, I can be All right. So Darius, trans man um, from Atlanta, truck driver, no kids, 34. So, and you don't want to, and I can't remember, would you date a woman with kids? Um, I'm, I'm open to it only if she's a mother. Like not somebody who leave her kids with somebody oh, else. No, 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 you said that. I want you to break that down. Is it aren't all women who have children mothers? Um, no. If you have another man in your life, you introducing this guy and that guy to your kids, or your kids is always with your family members. You, you know, you decked out, hair nice, nails nice, your kids running around in raggedy clothes. That's that's not a mother. A mother goes without for her kids. You know what I'm saying? You know, whatever the case may be. So, you know, I would date a mother, preferably somebody who doesn't have kids, somebody who doesn't want kids. I'm not interchanging your mind, and I don't want you to be left without. And I don't want you to be like, oh, we got to have a kid. Now I got to have a kid, and it's not necessarily what I want either. So, okay. Okay. Thank you for breaking that down. So, only she's a mother. So, what's um, what kind of woman are you looking for? Um, Somebody who is open for a relationship, not a, um, relationship succubus who needs somebody to fulfill them. I need somebody who is happy with being by themselves and can be okay with being alone. So that like when I need my space, they can have their space. But when we come together, it can be something magical. Um, somebody who is willing and able to travel. Somebody who is willing to do little corny stuff, stay at the house and have a movie day. Somebody who's willing to go get their bags packed and we can go, you know, Jamaica, we can go to this state, that state. I mean, everywhere in the United States, I've been outside of, you know, Hawaii and uh, Alaska. But wherever it is, wherever we want to go, we can go. Okay. Uh, what's, the, what's some deal breakers? Um, deal breaker is somebody who smokes. Um, somebody who isn't mentally aware of their situation or their self. Um, somebody who um, is like... A, not emotionally open for a relationship. There's a lot of people who think that they need somebody to fulfill them, but somebody who is like, hey, you know, what's up with you? You know, let, let's chill. Let me make you better while I make you better. Where you lack at, let me provide something to you and where, you know, vice versa. So, so listen, you know. safety is first. Do you have your blinker on because you pulled over to the side of the road? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. That's not, that's just because I, I forgot to turn it off. My bad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you had to have it on. I wanted you to be safe. Okay. Oh, yeah. So the no blinker is off. The blinker is off for the people going crazy in the comment section. All right. I apologize. apologize. You are good. Does this woman have to look a certain way? Um, no, I don't. I don't think that you have to look a certain way, but I think that you need to take pride in your appearance. Like right now, I'm on the truck. I've been on the truck for a long time, so I ain't shaved up. It ain't the beard ain't as crispy as it normally is. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, but when you when you step out, you get, your clothes is clean, your hygiene is on point. You take showers, you brush your teeth, you wash your face. You know, um, I'm I'm sure I'm gonna be real with you. I'm five two. I'm super tall. I know. I know everybody out here looking for these tall guys. You know what I'm saying? I am definitely not that guy. But my personality is bigger than life. So, you know what okay. I'm saying? Where, okay. where my height lacks, all of me, all of me goes with it. So. Okay. Does one man have to make a certain amount of money? Um, no, um, I feel like in today's society or how the economy goes, you need to be able to at least take care of yourself. Um, you know, need to help every now and then that's a different situation, but like have something going for yourself. You shouldn't need to be with a man in order to pay your rent or eat. 
or be with whoever you want to be with, I feel like you should at least be able to survive on your own. Because if we and you don't work out or your partner don't work out, you're not looking for the next thing to survive off of. So at least have that one about yourself. Okay. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam, Darius. Uh, all right. I'm a fluffy dude. You know what I'm saying? So. <sighs> can y'all see me? We can see you. Yeah, yeah. I would have never knew that you were born a woman. Of course not. Because that wasn't who I was supposed to be. Yeah. I live in my truth all day, every day. Did I'm you fired. always know? Yeah, I did. It was um, a very difficult time to be able to make the outside feel like the inside. And I had a great support system with a lot of friends. And, you know, even my family now accept me for who I am. So, you know, I'm blessed to have been able to go on this adventure and be able to do what I need to do. You know, I've worked in corporate America. Call it white collar. It don't matter. I do it all. So. Oh, I always. Hey, Darius, we've been doing good all night. Hello? I know. I apologize about that. I'm in the middle of the <laughs> How we been doing so good. So let's see, let, let me continue with you, but I want you to finish that because you were being very sincere. No, I'm just saying I just have a great support system. My friends and my family, they all support me, you know what I'm saying? So I know there's a lot of people out in the world who can't agree with who I am and I'm not here to change their mind. If now you can't get with me, I respect you for that. You know, just I'm just me. I love me. I love it. I love that you love you and I love that you have enough people that love you for who you are too. So Darius, um, what was your last when was your last relationship, baby? Um, over two years ago. Two years over ago. Two years. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, a couple months ago. Yeah, okay. a couple months ago. All right. So, um, which uh-oh, uh, let's 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 get to the last part. Why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, because I'm patient. I'm loyal. I'm dedicated. I will give you my. I'll give you my all. I'm a people pleaser. So sometimes that leaves me, you know what I'm saying, empty at the end of the day. But if I have the right person by my side, you know, there there isn't any obstacle that we can't defeat. And I'm going to make sure that you're good in every avenue, mentally, spiritually, you know, financially, whatever it is what we got to go through, we're going to get through it together. Okay. How do you want them to reach out to you? Reach out to me on Instagram. My Instagram is um, Viva, V-I-V-A underscore Rico, R-I-C-O underscore or more a m o r leverage love let's go so it's um diva underscore rico underscore or more viva spanish so span it's all spanish viva v i v spell, spell it out honey v i v a okay underscore r i c o underscore a m o r leverage love let's go okay V I V A underscore R I C O underscore A M O R. I this truck. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. When's your what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Sag, December 3rd, baby. And what's the age range you would date? Um, I would date anybody from the age of 31 to 45. And now, what was you gonna say? Um, I appreciate your platform because you, 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 you're all inclusive. I've been watching for a very long time. I've been trying to get on your show for a little minute. So I definitely, you, 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 you out here for everybody. And it's rare that you get somebody out here maybe not knowing a lot about the community, but you definitely make sure that you give us a, a chance to get out here and find love too. Listen, let me tell you something. Some of my favorite people that have held me down have been a part of the LGTB community. So I have, a, I have, did I say the letters right? I know that, I know y'all be adding letters, child. Y'all be adding letters. You see us be LGT. Now we got a couple letters in there. I don't want no disrespect. But nah, overall, some of the most important people in my life are gay, like sincerely. And yeah. um, I, I, I have nothing but love for that community because they have always poured love into me. So of course, if I have a platform, they will be a part of it. You will be a part of it. Absolutely. All right. Appreciate All right. you. You're right. All right, Darius. You keep me posted. I really enjoy talking to you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Bye, baby. Um, I do want to say this because I just saw somebody say this and they said, wait, I'm just going to pull the comment because I really want to quote the person. Um, um, I can't find it, but I, it was something about Christianity and the LGBT community. And I fell as though, because y'all do know I go to church, talk about that all the time. 
My job is to love people, <laughs> period. I let God, well, God don't even judge people. People judge people. That's the crazy thing right there. People judge people. God is just out here loving everybody. So um, whether I have a religious belief that doesn't necessarily sometimes, I mean, listen, that's a whole deeper conversation. But let me tell you something. What I don't like about Christians is that they pick the sin that they don't like and they focus on that and they point that sin out as bad. Well, how about this? As you are judging that sin, you are doing a sin of judgment. So you just as bad as the person you judge it. And if you know anything about sins, there's there's no weight for sin when it comes to God. If Christianity is what you really believe, you could kill a person and cuss at a person. And in God's eyes, it's the same damn thing. So while if 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 you want to preach the Bible, then you need to learn yourself. There's not one sin that outweighs the other. And just because something might not be your sin, don't sit in a seat of perfection because I know you're not and pointing out what you consider to be somebody else's sin. My job is to love, and that's all that God cares about, and that's all I'm going to do. Now, I can hate a gay person not because they're gay, but because of their actions. Just like I can hate a straight person not because they're straight, but because of their actions. I'm never going to not like a person because of their sexual orientation. That's not who is, that's not what my spirit is about. And guess what the fuck this is? My platform. Y'all know I'm trying to go to heaven. Y'all got me swearing on this Wednesday night. Shit. I had a guy out here, um, but I really wanted to get a guy. Uh, we've been an hour and 40 minutes. Baby, you've been waiting all night. I got to guess you've been waiting all night. <laughs> Hi. 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 What's your name, baby? Selena. Selena? Oh, I don't want no titty slip. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. What's your, your name is Selena? Yes. Selena, where are you calling me from, baby? White Plains, New York. White Plains, New York. How old are you? 40. 40. Okay. You have any kids? Three. Three kids. How old are your kids? 19, five, and a year and a half. A year and a half. Oh, a year and a half. Why are you not, are they all by the same man? My daughter is someone else, and my two sons are with the same guy. Was you once married? No. Why are you not with the man you had a baby with a year and a half ago? Technically, we weren't really together, Kendra. It was just, you know. Okay, y'all co parent well? Yes. Okay. So this is Selena, White Plains, New York, 40. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What you do for a living, mama? I'm a project assistant. Project assistant. All right, let's get to it. Selena White Plains, New York, 40, a project assistant, Sagittarius, three kids. Um, what kind of man are you looking for? Um, I have a little list here, Kendra. You got your list. Let's get to I, it. Am I showing a little too much tonight, Kendra? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm looking for a proactive man, a man who takes initiative, a man who stands firm in what he does and what he says. A man that's strategic in his moves. You know, we don't want a man that's all over the place. Um, a man that's confident in his leadership. A man who will have my best interest at heart. A man of integrity, substance with a great character. A man who has had a, um, a consistent male role model in his life that shows him and teach him, like, really how to be a man and what it is to be a man. Okay, what's the deal? What's some deal breakers for you? Um, oh, let's see. A man that's not on his purpose. A man who's all over the place. A man who isn't mindful about the company he keeps. A man who doesn't um, pay attention to who he surrounds himself um, around. A man who's inconsiderate. A messy man. A sloppy man. And a flashy man. And a flashy man. Okay. Could he have kids? Yes. Um, what's the age range you would date? Um, 40 to early 60s. Okay. Early 60s. Does he have to look a certain way? Um, I'm 5'10, so just my height and a little taller win. Does good. he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, well, I'm looking for providers, so 
a provider. Okay. So it's Selena, White Plains, New York, 40, Sagittarius, three kids, project assistant. Um, oh, okay. Let's go back to that. Provider. So you want them to pay all your bills? Like what does provider mean to you? Um, a man who just takes care of the household, like fully oh. takes care of the household. So have you ever been married? No. You want to get married? Yes. So when you get, when you say looking for a provider, so you're obviously you want to get married you live with the man. So he would pay all the bills. Like what, what does that vision look like yes. for you? All the bills. Um, I will be the at home, taking care of the kids, taking care of the household. So taking care. So you want them to take care of your kids as well? Yes. Okay. Can you have kids already? Absolutely. Um, do you have, do you co-parent well with your other children's dads? Yes. So this is what some men say sometimes in the comment section when women uh, make certain demands. And one thing I see a lot of is why do you have expectations of the of a, a new guy who did not father your children to be the father and a provider for your children? Um. Well, the thing is, is that you know, I love, I love my children, Kendra. Like when I tell you I love my children, I love my children to the moon and the stars and back. Um, I know that I can't expect the man who isn't their biological father to love them the same way that I do. But if I'm entering a relationship, I want it to be clear what it is I'm looking for. He can either accept it or not. I completely understand. I'm not forcing it on him. Um, I respect the men who don't want to date a woman with children and I give props to the men who do because they don't have to. So if a man chooses me, um, you know, that that's just something that I would like. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I, I appreciate you, um, you know, responding to that because they're definitely going to say that in the comments. <laughs> so now we have your, we have your rebuttal to that remark. <laughs> um, all right, Selena, let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. You're not going to take this one. Okay, we see we got the mama hips. All right, small <laughs> waist. We see, we see you, boo. Okay, all right, boo. All right, Selena. Does the guy have to be in White Plains? No. When was he your last? Just New, New York, York surrounding area. Okay. When was your last relationship? My last serious relationship, can I would say about over four years ago. Maybe four years ago. ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. Does um, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? six months ago six months ago okay um real quick just one more question about the provider position if you met a man and he wanted to co uh, like you know live with you or whatever and he but he wanted you to contribute to the bills would you not do that or i would oh you would do that i'm very capable of it like okay i wouldn't have an issue doing it okay but your preference is a man that is going to provide for all the bills absolutely Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> your subtleness. Okay. All right, Selena. Um, why do you think you're single? Um, like I said before, you know, having children with another man, I know it's not the ideal situation for men to get into nowadays. Um, I know it is a risk. I know a lot of women out here just make it look like it's a horrible thing. Um, but you know, there are some women that uh, that appreciate men who take on that responsibility. And, you know, um, I do believe that is one of the reasons that I am single. And I'm boring, Kendra. I'm boring. I I'm I just you know the you know the Beyonce song which said, We outside, we out. I'm not outside, I'm inside. <laughs> I'm inside with my robe and my fuzzy socks with a glass of wine in front of my whole fireplate, Kendra. And that's what it is. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do it, Selena. How you want the guy to reach out to you? Um, he can reach out to me through my Instagram, which is Soul Fruit S O U L underscore F R U I T T F R U. Wait, F R U? No, S O U L F R U I T T underscore seven so wasn't there underscore between soul and fruit too I, I said it wrong okay so there's so start from the top honey so it's s-o-u-l-f-r-u-i-t-t -T underscore seven 
All right. So S O U L F R U I T T underscore seven. Yeah. All right, Selena Boo. Keep me posted how it goes, honey. Thank you. Bye. Why are you looking all mad, girl? Oh, I'm just waiting my turn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kristen. Your name is Kristen? My yes, my name is Kirsten, but I go by K. You go by K? Okay, it's Kirsten. Okay, I apologize. Kirsten. K, where are you calling us from? Cali. Cali, what part? San Diego. San Diego. How old are you? 34. 34. What you do for a living? I am a private chef. Pri have you been here before? No, first time. Uh, private chef. Do you have any kids? I have two beautiful kids, boy and girl. Oh, how old are your children? 13 and 7. Same man? Uh, basically. <laughs> uh, two fathers, but he raised my daughter since gotcha. she was uh, a baby. Okay. Um, do you have, were you ever married? Uh, engaged with my last. Gotcha. Okay. K, Cali, San Diego, private chef. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? February. I'm a Pisces. Pisces. All right, boo, what kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for someone who is, you know, just kind and patient, someone who is well-established, not boastful, not rude, just someone that's really chill and someone I could build with. Okay. What's some deal breakers? Um, someone who is abusive, um, too open and fluid out there in the streets, um, someone that's not well put together. Not well put together. Um, Kitty, have kids? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Do you want more kids? I wouldn't mind. You wouldn't mind. Okay. You wouldn't mind. Does he have to be in San Diego? No, not at all. Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Well, yeah, like I said, well put together. Um, definitely has to have all his teeth. Um, just somebody that's, I like a, I like a big guy. So I'm five, two. So big to me would be like five, nine and up. Um, okay. I just always been into like, you know, those big linebacker guys. Okay. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? No, just be financially stable and able to carry his own and, you know, have his passport, of course, to take a couple of trips. Oh, could he get a passport if he doesn't have one? Yes, he can get one because it's very easy to get one. So, yeah, as long as that's in the future plans, then I can rock with that. Okay. So this is Cali San Diego, 34 Pisces, private chef, two kids. Let's get into it. Let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. Oh, we, see, oh, we see you, boo. Okay. Oh, look at that booty. <laughs> So, um, Kelly, when was your last relationship? A uh, year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. I think we might have, let's keep going. I think it froze. A year and a half ago. You don't have to answer, but when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, I'll keep it ladylike. Okay. Why do you think you're single? Um, I took a break from my last relationship, honestly. just I just believe in healing. I'm very spiritual, so... Um, I'm well grounded and connected, so I know that I have to get my energy right before I give my energy to somebody else. Okay. And um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm fun. I'm really a goofball. I'm a little like toned down and nervous, but um, I'm really fun, adventurous. I love trying new things. I love, you know, seeing the world, meeting new people. So, um, and I cook. <laughs> That's what I do. So I could bring I could bring everything to the table, definitely. I'm a whole package. She's a whole package. All right, let's do it. This is Callie. No, excuse me, this is Kay and Callie. <laughs> do they have to be in San Diego? No, that's no, that's fine. And what's the age range you would date? You're 34. Um, 35 to like 55. Well, do you want more kids? That's fine. She's open to having more kids. Okay, he can have kids, you said, right? Yeah, no more than three, though, because, you know, my two combined with the three is to make a big old family. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, Cali, San Diego, 34, private chef, two children. All right, boo, let's do it. How you want them to reach out to you? Um, Right there, my Instagram, Taste of K. I love where it. Where you can find me. Taste of K. Thank you, K. Thank you, Kendra. Bye, boo. <laughs> Bye. Let's see who this is. Hello? 
Oh, you you hung up? Well, look, maybe that's the sign, child. We got almost two hours in. I've been sitting down four hours, and I'm hungry as hell. And I gotta go to bed. I gotta get up soon. I love y'all. Sorry if I could not get to you. We went an hour and fifty four minutes. The Wi Fi was on our side. I think I'm gonna have. Look, if I don't got this braid in my hair, the next time you see me, I'm gonna use this braid as the as the sage moving forward. Cause I can't remember the last time we had such good Wi Fi, and I'm just gonna quote it to the braid, child. So. Uh, we're done for the night. We'll be back on IG and Facebook Friday. I'm back on YouTube on Monday. I love you guys. I'm so sorry if I couldn't get to you. Please understand. I love you so much. And um, until next time, peace. Bye, everyone. Bye. Single again. Back on the car. <laughs>